Hey everybody, at BV Matson here. We're looking at the 305 for the Super Hawk. It's time to put this left side together. I think I got it. Here we go. Let's... All right, it's one piece at a time. There's actually quite a bit happening in this space. We've got our clutch basket that goes over here and then our oil sling and everything here. There's also some tension uh, pieces that need to go in here. So first and foremost, you're gonna grab this bracket. It's gonna look like this. There's gonna be a single 10 millimeter on it, flat side out. And we're just gonna put this on this bottom one. Oops, on this bottom one right here. It's like this. Get it oriented right. It's like that. I'm just gonna get this loosely started for now. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to take this piece. Okay, here's our roller for that main, for that drive chain that goes inside of here. There is a spring that goes on this. So I take this spring, put it on the bottom half first. All right, then you're gonna orient it like this. One thing to note on this is that there is a little spacer inside of here on this long 10 mil. Make sure you keep that there. Get that nice and seated inside there, just like that. And then this is actually gonna lift up in a line right there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this spot right here, put it on the spring. And then we are going to align these two pieces. Can fight you a little bit, because it is a spring. Let's get a little better shot of what's going on here. All right. So what we've got is we've got this piece is gonna line up right there. And this spring is gonna sit on there just like that. This wheel is gonna come over. I'm gonna set it down on there like that. And we're gonna align against that. Take our pin and feed this right into here. So this is this bottom tensioner on that big drive chain on this side. Grab the ratchet. Again, remember you're going into aluminum. So you don't want to go crazy with stuff. Let's cinch that up and we'll come down here and we'll cinch this one up. Just like that. All right, so what we accomplished there is our tensioner. That is how that goes together. Super confident about that. Now the next piece you want to install is this specialty washer and bolt. This one's got a special kind of rib on it. And what we want to do is we want to put this into there. And this is going to mount right to here. And if I can get this thread started, this is another 10 mil. This is going to go into position there. Cool thing about the side here is that everything appears to be 10 millimeter. Oops. Leave that loose here for a second as we go to the next pieces. And that is this funky job right here. So again, there's another specialty bolt here that's gonna mount right to this. And there is a spring that actuates inside of here as well. So what we're gonna do, if I remember right, this runs up here, connects to this. This slides over the top. And then we can position this onto this piece here. This big oddball one goes there. And I'll show you a close up here in a second of that. And then this other 10 mil is up in this corner here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. Oops, oh, dropping stuff. Ah, dropping stuff. Got fumble fingers today. And we'll get that aligned. At least get it started so it gets in position. Just like that. All right. And what this is going to do is this rides up on your actual shifter, right? Your gear change mech. And there's going to be one spring that goes inside of here. So just to make my life a little easier, I'm going to go ahead and kind of just lightly get these nudged down into position. There's a lot to... to <laughs> to hold on to here. This is gonna pop up, and then we can go ahead and pop our spring in right there. 
as my spring goes flying across because I don't have any of this tightened up yet. So let's go ahead and put that back on, just like that. And then we are gonna go ahead and tighten up our connections here. So here's how you kind of want it all sitting. This has that special um, little groove on it. So this isn't locking up, it's just tight. And then here we should have spring action on this. Here, let me switch hands and you can see this is gonna ride along on that shifter. Just make sure that it's on track and it's right where it needs to be mounted there. And I need to go figure out what this is and we'll give that, get that one tightened up too. Then we're on to the fun stuff. All right, this big one right here looks to be a 17. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this one up. All right, this is going to be kind of tough to show you, but this is what I've been really puzzling about on this. So on this selector here, so here's that piece we just installed with the spring. It kind of rides along here. See how it's springy like that? This position is one, first gear, neutral, second, third, and fourth all the way around the tree. And the way you can test this is to make sure that everything's working. So you can actually utilize this and this over here. So I'm turning this right now and that's turning. <laughs> all right, so that should mean that I am in first gear. Now, if I move this to the second position, I should be in neutral. So here I'm turning this and this is barely moving. I'm turning this a mile all the way around. So this is totally independent of what's going on. So then if I move this back over, uh, gotta kind of rotate the motor a little bit. So we go into third. Now if I come over here, now it's going as fast as I'm turning this over here, it's turning. So just testing that again, let's go back one to neutral. I should be a neutral. I'm gonna spin this one pretty fast so you can see. And there you can see that is not moving nearly as fast as it was. So I am in neutral and that is the right position. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna leave it in neutral for now and uh, get the control arm installed. All right, the control arm is pretty straightforward. It actually just slides on, no bolts or anything. This part slides in right down here. And in between these two springs, see this little slot in these springs? That's gonna go right over this peg coming out here. So we're just line that up, throw that on. And what you'll see up here is that this is gonna do all of your shifting. It's gonna hit these little nodes in the top of this thing and move this around. So let's see if we can go into first. There we go, dropped right into first. Let's see if we can pull it back. That's hard to do, man. <laughs> Hard to do with one hand here, but that is totally working. I'm going to go ahead and put myself back into neutral. Double check. Actually, I think I switched over into third. So I'm going to go ahead and push this down. And there we go. I am in neutral, and that's where I'm going to keep it. That's it. Um, probably should make this a two-part video. This is a lot going on here. Because now we got to get the clutch basket in um, and get the oil sling put in here over on the other side. So, um, yeah, this was a puzzle, man. I wanted to make absolutely sure I had this right. But right now, I definitely got it right. I'm feeling good about that. All right, if this video helped you out, <laughs> hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, also... If you want to meet some fellow wrenchers, head on over to Facebook and hit up the Keep On Wrenching community group. How cool is that? And if you want me to send you a free sticker, go ahead and hit up keeponwrenching.com. All right. Long ways to go here, but we are making progress. We'll see you in the next video or live stream.